CBSN is going global. Welcome to London, England, and the Tower Bridge spanning the River Thames. Thanks for joining us. I'm Charlie Daggett in London. We have breaking news out of Washington, where federal authorities have announced yet another ISIS-related arrest in the U.S. David Martin has the latest from the Pentagon. The indictment uh, says that the accused was a 23-year-old naturalized American citizen. His name was Abdi Rahman Sheikh Mohammed, and he is accused of actually traveling from his home in Columbus, Ohio, to Syria, receiving training, and then returning back to the United States to carry out an attack. And according to the indictment, he talked about uh, going to uh, a military base in Texas and uh, executing three or four American soldiers. Now, what sets this case apart from a lot of the others that uh, we've heard in recent months is that in those cases, uh, somebody wanted to go to Syria but was stopped before they uh, ever left the country, or they were inspired by ISIS propaganda and wanted to uh, carry off an attack in the United States but without ever going to Syria. This is a case in which a would-be foreign fighter went to Syria, uh, underwent training, and then was convinced uh, by a cleric in Syria to return to the United States to, uh, to carry out an attack. But, of course, he has now uh, been arrested, and he is uh, charged with uh, uh, giving material support to uh, terrorism. Charlie, one thing that uh, strikes you about this case and about all the others that uh, I'm familiar with is how blatant uh, the accused are in uh, about their plans. Um, Facebook pay, uh, postings on Facebook and other forms of social media, and you just have to wonder how many are out there who are not so indiscreet, who have not yet come to the attention of the FBI. Uh, David, at this point, do we know, first of all, if he had any weapons on him when he was uh, arrested or if there were other suspects uh, that were or people that were suspected of uh, working with him? Well, <clears throat> the, the indictment does not mention any, uh, any weapons that he had in his possession. He was uh, working with his brother. His brother had preceded him to Syria and uh, was actually fighting for one of the radical Islamic uh, groups, uh, al-Nusra. And uh, Mohammed was going to join his brother in Syria. And uh, the way he did it was he bought a, a, a one-way ticket to Greece uh, with a stopover in Turkey. And he got off the plane for good in Turkey. And then he was met by someone who uh, took him to the border and then into uh, Syria, which is where he received the training and then was convinced uh, to come back to the United States. And at about the same time he came back to the United States, which was June of last year, his brother, the one who had gone before him to Syria, was actually killed in fighting in Syria. David Martin at the Pentagon. Thank you.